Hey, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for July 5th, 2021. Just a reminder, Virgo, I'm not doing any personal reads until July 8th. My shop is open. However, for anyone who is interested, tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it. Virgo's coming with the Devil card, the Nine of Swords, and the Strength card there. You guys could have been dealing with a Cancer, a Gemini, a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Leo, a Virgo, a Taurus, an Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get it, Virgo. It's coming with the Devil card, the Nine of Swords, or the Strength card. Somebody here was definitely married to somebody in the past here, Virgos, or from now for that matter. And they're not with them. They're not married with them anymore. Coming with the tarot, with the Hierophant in reverse. They're not in a relationship anymore. The person that they was with is very rude, very disrespectful, very deceptive, uh, very sneaky as well. Uh, definitely using their person for that matter here, Virgos. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn energy here. Um, I, it doesn't look like they're they're married anymore, but it does look like they're actually still sleeping with each other. Lover's card. And it stresses this person out a whole lot because they're trying to release them, but they're actually still sleeping with them on the side. Uh, and they're and they're still stressed out about it. Nine of Swords in reverse. So if this person's like, no, I'm not sleeping with my ex-wife. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Anyways, there it goes. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> strength card. Eventually, they're going to get the strength to move on with their life here, Virgos. They're kind of probably feel trapped at the moment because of the fact that this Cancer Pisces Scorpio here is making them feel trapped uh, to whatever. But they are healing themselves with the Three of Swords uh, in reverse there. All right. So they're really upset about it. They're not happy about it as well. Eight of Swords. They feel trapped by the family and everything like that. There's too much family involved in this situation here, Virgos. Uh, chariot card in reverse. Uh, they that This person does not want to be with the ex-wife or the ex-husband for that matter and the ex-wife seems like or husband whoever for this matter they seem to be like a little bit of a psycho i keep hearing sociopath sociopath you know what i'm saying so be careful that this person doesn't end up finding out about you if you guys are dealing with an energy like this because it seems like they will fight you <laughs> please be careful virgos it's very important that you guys be careful these ex-wives sometimes you know i'm not talking about the ones who who but the ones who still are attached and who can't let their husband, ex-husbands go. I'm talking about those ones specifically. If you got the divorce papers and you signed off on them, you have no right to be acting like this to anybody. Let the man go or let the gal go. Let them move on with their life. No need to be acting like the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay? Uh, King of Cups in reverse. Someone here is very upset at the moment. They don't know how to make a decision, but it doesn't look like they... They, they, they're just in a lot of fear at the moment, not knowing what to do because they don't want to give to them anymore. Maybe somebody here has to pay child support, but they don't have enough money for child support here as well. World card, the, nothing's working out for them. They're hitting a tower moment. They are getting ready to leave. Uh, definitely someone here, Virgo, doesn't trust the situation anymore. You guys are moving very cautiously and going to be asking questions, trying to figure out. King of Swords upright, trying to see what's really going on here, Virgos, all right? Because you guys are going to be a little bit like, hmm, you know what, I'm... I'm kind of getting the intuition that you're doing something. Uh, regardless of Virgos, you guys are going to be meeting somebody new. Page of Wands, Upright. So maybe you guys are meeting. This person is coming in new for you, Virgos, but they're actually also divorced at the same time. All right? So this is a married person who you guys have just met or whatever the case is. But they're not married anymore, but they might still be sleeping with the, with the ex-wife there, Virgos, or the ex-husband. All right? Juggling two of pentacles. They don't know what to do. Uh, but they are very deceptive. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Wands. You guys are pro probably feeling it, not wanting to deal with it. Ten of Swords in reverse. Cutting the shit, making a move where it goes, all right? Eight of Pentacles. You guys don't have the motivation to be dealing with this type of shit, or this person doesn't have the motivation to be dealing with, with the ex-wife or ex-husband, for that matter. There's going to be a confession. Everything's stagnated at the moment, and they feel like they sacrificed a lot. They just don't know what to do. Emperor in reverse. The Five of Pentacles. Too much family's involved. Way too much family's involved. They're in somebody's ear. Someone is, someone's in their ear talking shit. All right? So five of wands. So just a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting here, Virgos. All right? You guys are not going to want to deal with it. You guys are going to be leaving at the end of this month here. Uh, it's gonna be, you guys are going to be like, you know, it's a little bit impulsive the way you guys are dipping here, Virgos. But at the end of the day, you got the clarity you need. Ace of Swords upright. All right? They're going to try back and reach out to you again here, Virgos, because they feel like, you know what, it's time to... Uh, they might be getting a little bit of anxiety or feel embarrassed by the fact that they're dealing with this shit here. Uh, but you guys are going to end up letting this person know, you know what, it's, I'm not interested anymore. 
uh, Page of Pentacles in reverse to the Four of Cups. I'm sorry, I'm not interested anymore. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Virgo, Gemini energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's what they're going to tell you. That's what you're going to get. The, that's exactly what you guys are going to tell them. They're going to still try and reach out to you after you guys leave. And, and they're going to still try and, try and come back for you. But you guys are going to be like, mm, you know what? I don't really want to manifest you back in. Magician card in reverse. Five page of pentacles. I'm sorry. I'm, not, I'm no longer interested. And I'm going to reject you now. And they're still going to try one more time. Knight of Wands. Also, Virgos, that's one way to read the spread, all right? Another way I'm going to read it is this way. You guys had a very deceptive uh, enemy in your circle, okay? You guys found out about it. You guys found out about it. And this person was trying to sabotage you, destroy you, hurt you, trying to be a snake towards you as well. But you guys clicked into the in to the situation. You guys kept it moving. Right now, this person's in the dark. Uh, Virgos with the hierophant in reverse. They have to, they have to repent. Is is what that looks like to me. Now they're stuck. They don't know what to do. Um, they're just thinking very negative at the moment, and they're definitely hurt as well. Uh, regardless, though, they are. They're pissed off with you because you guys defeated them. The chariot card in reverse to the Queen of Swords. They're pissed off. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They know that you defeated them, but they're still actually pissed off about it. Don't let nobody run up on you here, Virgos. All right? You guys have a lot of envious and jealous people around you. They're going to be hitting a tower moment here, Virgos. The life is going to be stagnated. There's nothing that they're going to be able to do about it. There's somebody here works on the evil side of wealth. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is not a good person, Virgos. It's actually a very jealous excuse me, very jealous, very evil person, and you guys cut on to it, and, uh, you know, you, because you guys are smart, analytical, intellectual, whatever the case is, you guys put your foot down, K uh, king of swords upright, and you guys move slowly, trying to figure out, like, you know what, I know what type of person you really are, I see it, all right, uh, regardless, though, also here, Virgos, where is it, there might be a confession coming in, so maybe there's going to be a Pisces who's going to come out and reach out to you, and you guys are going to be like, Mm, no thanks i'm gonna leave you exactly where you are five of pentacles i don't give a fuck what you have to say to me because you guys al already know you guys already you guys got the clarity you guys already know uh cancer pisces scorpio who might end up wanting to reach back out to you here virgos that's saying that this person's gonna be very embarrassed they know that they can't protect themselves anymore they fucked up uh, maybe this person did a lot of fucking black magic on you guys i mean a lot of magic on you guys here virgos it's been in the spreads <clears throat> from the get-go uh, but you're not, I don't think you guys are going to end up wanting to respond back to them with the Page of Pentacles. You're, you're going to leave them probably most likely on red. And uh, they're going to try and come back again and try and talk to you again here, Virgos. But you're nowhere to be found. Once a snake, always a snake. An apology is not going to be able to fix that. If they want to apologize, sure, go ahead. Apologize. But that doesn't mean you have to actually forgive them. You can actually read it and just leave them exactly where they are they know what they've done at the bottom of the deck i got the ace of wands all right virgos you guys' health is good coming with the with the ace of wands energy there okay if you guys are suffering from anything it looks like you guys are going to be able to get the balance and and take care of yourselves here virgos coming with the ace of wands somebody wants to come towards you aries energy pisces energy here they <laughs> all right virgos just make sure you guys use your intuition okay two of cups energy here as well Virgos, you have to use protection. If you guys are going to be doing anything with anybody coming with the Ace of Wands to the Two of Cups, you need to use protection. That's fertility. You guys could potentially end up actually getting pregnant on the first shot uh, if you guys end up sleeping with this person, all right? Also, Virgos, <sighs> oh. Virgos, make sure you guys protect yourselves and protect your energy coming with the Star card to the High Priestess there, okay? You guys are very highly intuitive. Ten of Cups energy. Hmm. If somebody here has a family, it looks like you guys are going to end up having one more baby or about to have another baby here for that matter. This is like a, a happy home. Someone who lives with their husband or fiance or whatever. You guys are about to have a baby. Uh, congratulations. Uh, seven uh, pentacles. All right. That's what you guys are going to want to invest in. You guys are going. You guys have been hoping for like the love of your life to be coming in or whatever the case is here, Virgos. But please stop with, with the Five of Cups energy there. You need to take care of yourself. Heal yourself from whatever depression, sadness you guys were dealing with from the past there, all right? Temperance card. All right. So somebody here, Virgos, there. Somebody here comes from a very religious family. Um, okay. They come from a very religious family, all right? Seven of Swords energy. 
So this person here, uh, Aquarius, a Pisces, Sagittarius here, Virgo, that's saying that this person was very deceptive, very deceiving. Protect yourself, protect your energy here as well. People are gossiping about you all day, all night. Uh, it's like, it's almost as if like, you know, Virgos, you are the most important thing in the whole entire world. <laughs> That's what that looks like to me. They just sitting there talking about you all day, all night. This person's calling up their friends, talking about you. Um, they're trying to find ways to probably get you or whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, four pentacles, protect yourselves. Uh, death card, Scorpio energy, ace of pentacles, three of cups energy here, okay? Uh, Virgos, continue to heal yourselves and make sure you stay on the correct path with the Ace of Pentacles energy there. Uh, there is going to be some sort of burial that's about to come in, come in uh, Virgos. I want you guys to know my, I'm sending out my condolences to you guys with the Death Card to the Five of Swords energy. I do apologize. Sending you my condolences for you and your family, for the ones who are having to deal with something like this. It's very, very sad, Virgos, so I do apologize, okay? Uh, however, you guys look like you guys are going to be able to celebrate it in the correct way. So you guys are going to have family there. Take care of yourselves. Everyone's going to be there for each other. Everything will be okay. Um, I do apologize, Virgos. Uh, Queen of Wands energy. All right. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who might be getting their karma here, Virgos. It's look like, it looks like they want to come back and be in a relationship with you with the Ten of Pentacles there. Uh, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this You guys might be reaching out to this person for that matter. There might be a Virgo here who might be at a distance from you guys who wants to reach back out to you guys as well. This person sees you as the Empress. They know that they missed their shot. So what happened was, Virgos, they thought that they could find somebody else that's better than you. They thought. No big deal. They thought. But Karma came in and kicked both of their asses and said, No. That's not the one you're supposed to be with. You're not supposed to be with the Queen of Wands energy. You're actually supposed to be with the Empress energy here. So this person is going to end up reaching back out to you. Eight of Wands energy. It could be another Virgo for that matter. But you guys see the truth for exactly what it is. Not only that, they also see the truth for exactly what it is. They're now they're realizing, oh shit, Hermit to the Empress. They're, they're realizing Virgos, oh man, they fucked up. You know what I mean? That's what that looks like. They know that they missed out on a huge opportunity here with you. You guys are very abundant Virgos. You can create anything that it is that you want. I mean, you guys can sit in a room with like a pen and a paper and you guys would make a friggin... A boat, a plane, <laughs> and some other shit, a flower. You guys are, you guys, because you guys are creative like that here, Virgos, coming with the Nine of Cups energy. You guys are happy where you're at. You're good. You're fertile. You can create anything that it is that you want. Uh, this person's definitely feeling nostalgic on you here, Virgo, Six of Cups energy. They created a lot of illusion on you as well. They didn't know what options to take, but your, your spirit guides, they came and they kicked their ass. Justice card there. <sighs> Now they're confused. Now they're stressed out. Now, now they're real, realizing, oh no, like you know, I made a really big mistake. I went into a into a d direction that I should never have gone into. Now they want to come towards you, and they want to find a way to come for you here, Virgos, because they're spying on you heavy. Nine of Wands to the page. No, they're spying on you heavy here, Virgos. They're like, get this wand off my back. It's too fucking heavy for me. It's too heavy. Let me just stack my wands up real quickly. Nine of Wands. So they drop. So they drop one wand. Say, I don't want that one. <laughs> like, I don't want that wand anymore. I'm gonna drop it because that wand is too heavy for me. I can't. Okay, that's the karma wand. And then they take all the other wands, nine wands. They lift them up. They they stand them up here, Virgos. And and they're saying, you know what? Um, I'm done spying. I'm done investigating. I'm only going to take six with me. I'm going to jump on my horse and I'm going to go because that's the one that I want to be with, Ace of Cups. That's the one that I want to give my love offer to, Knight of Cups. Be careful with your feet here, Virgos, all right? Uh, blood circulation, something like that, all right? At the end of the day, though, it's saying here for you guys, Virgos, that this person has been spying on you, watching out on you, or whatever the case is, but they're, they go from the ten. Then they go, like, get this one out of here. I don't want that one. Nine. They drop a couple more because the horse is not going to carry all those ones, right? They probably have a fucking sports car or something. <laughs> and then they're going to say, no, no, I love you. You're the one I want to be with. I love you. I love you. Here, I'm going to jump on another horse, but I'm not going to carry any more wands with me because those ones are not doing anything for me. I'm going to drop all my wands and I'm going to go pick up this huge ass cup from the ocean because this one didn't have a cup, but now I found a cup on my way to you. So I'm going to grab that cup and I'm going to take it. I'm going to jump on a different horse. 
<laughs> and I'm going to keep it moving. This person here, Virgos, they definitely have a, a, a white grayish card. They have a white card, gray card, blue card here as well, uh, sweethearts. Somebody here has like a, um, what is it? Somebody here has a Benz Virgos, a BMW, a Sonata, a Hyundai. Um, yeah. <laughs> Someone's coming back for you guys, Virgos. What the hell are you guys going to do? Thanks, cuties. Bye.